I take care of my toes. Use your words, use your words. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> Hey, what's up guys? We're in Wellington for Wellington on a Plate. Uh, we are here for the second half of Wellington on a Plate, which is all burgers. As you know, we've got Burger Tuesdays and we do love our burgers. So I'm staying with Steve for the week and we're going we're gonna to do our best. You knock a few burgers out. There's, uh, there was 147 hamburgers on the list last year. This year it's 232. So uh, short of doing 19 a day, we've decided the 52 that we'd actually really like to hit. Um, last year I did... 37 and managed to, to eat every single one of the top five burgers, which I was quite proud of. I got a feel for where to go and which which are going to be the good ones, and um, gone through the list, made a database out of it, chicken, beef, got rid of all the tofu and veggie shit, and just put in all of the real good stuff, and all the ones that we want to really hit, all my tastes, like smoky meats and all that type of thing. We've um, look really looking forward to hitting a few. I've actually personally been on a diet for nearly two hours now in preparation for this, so I'm actually really looking forward to getting stuck into it. And the other thing is, because these burgers are all one-off bespoke for this event, you're not actually going to be able to try any of them, so we're going to do our best to relay to you how great the experiences have been. So, join us on our journey. Cool. Hey fellas, we're in uh, Boneface today, doing, uh, which is in Brewtown, which is the old um, tyre factory in Upper Hutt. Massive building in here with a big brewery in it. Uh, we're doing our first Wellington on a Plate burger, which is the uh, big old smoky burger, so it's a uh, smoked brisket with rib and bacon and cheese and yeah, Basically, it's a heart attack on the plate, so I can't wait. Um, we ordered a couple of them for four of us. We're going to split it in half, see what else we can eat later on. Can't wait. Should be really good. So that was the big old smoky. Uh, that was our first burger down, and that was a good place to start. Uh, I loved the brisket. The brisket was really well cooked. I think the only thing that let it down was the bun. The bun tasted a little kind of stock, like it didn't feel like they'd done anything special with the bun. But the internals, what's inside, was really, really good. Um, I thought it was yeah, the good sauce. About what's inside that counts, 100%. It's what's inside that counts. Chips were good, but once you get 20 burgers in, it's the chips and the beers that have actually end you. But the burger was great. Nice bit of crispy meat on the side of the brisket, too. Top marks. I'd have given it maybe a 5 or a 6 out of 10, but only because I like to score low. Because once you get 40 burgers in, you can't describe how good the really good ones are. So start by scoring low. So well, this is the Panhead Brewery, this is the Wope Burger, and I'll just read you off what it is. A queso stuffed short rib and chorizo patty with chili pickled onion rings, stout and treacle cured bacon, smoked jalapeno salsa, mole, don't know what that is, Carolina Reaper hot sauce syringe with smoky chili con carne with manuka smoked chili salt corn chips. Uh, cannot cater to dietary requirements, but we don't have any. Overall, I actually really enjoyed that burger. The, um, the bun was really nice, and the theory behind the theatrics with the Mexican and the um, hot sauce syringe and things like that, I thought that was a really nice touch. The, I think the place where this fell down for me was the, um, oh no, I already did that, was the, um, the bun. They went with the black bun, which was, it was a decent tasting bun, but it was only one dimension in the texture of the bun, which I like to have a couple of layers of texture within any burger, and this did have multiple layers of texture with the crunch of the salad and the burger was had a nice char on it, but I would have liked a bit more texture out of the bun. But in terms of the actual flavour of the burger, I thought it was really good. Hello, we are at Grill Meets Beer, uh, and this is the Wellington burger on a plate, a little bit cheeky. It has a beef patty, chilli smoked, beef cheek, boozy cheese sauce, bell peppers, smoked garlic, aioli and a rocket on a Harakiki Zaida's bun with steak cut fries. I gotta say, like, that was, if you imagine a quality homemade burger, nothing too crazy, just a good homemade burger, that was right up there. That was the best homemade burger I've ever had. But we're at a restaurant. But I think that the homemade aspect of it gives it a bit more character and it gives it a bit more relatability as opposed to something really, really crazy. I think the craziest thing about it would be the bell peppers, really. Um, but no, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that very much. It reminded me, oh, hey, it reminded me of the burger that we made at your house. This was way better than the burger we made at my house. So we're at Southern Cross, we're going to go check out their burger. I don't entirely know what it is, it seems to be like a double cheese, double beef burger. Um, but we're a little bit iffy about filming in there, so we're going to do it on the down low, so we'll do the intro out here, but there isn't much of an intro because it's quite a simple burger, but shall we? Okay team, so that was the Southern Cross double bacon cheeseburger, uh, sorry, double cheeseburger with bacon. 
Um, I think it's been pretty unanimous that this particular burger seemed a little bit like they just joined in for the sake of joining in. There wasn't anything really special about it. The only point of difference was that it had a dipping sauce, which was a cheese sauce, which for novelty's sake, yeah, okay, that's novel, it's interesting. It wasn't anything overly special. You just got food on your shirt, and I think it's probably time to move on. You know, trophy for participation, but this is not going to be in the top ten. Steve, thoughts? Couldn't agree more. I'm even bored with the chips. We find ourselves at the Heyday Burger Co, where we are having their Wellington on a plate offering, which is the Heyday Twist of Fate Stout. It's the same thing. <laughs> We're having the Heyday Twist of Fate Stout, black bean and beef patty with bacon, smoked gouda, house-made pickle jalapeno jam. It's gelapinos and salad in a custom Zyda bun made from Hades spent grain. So it's, the bun is made from the grain of their beer brewing process, which sounds kind of cool. Um, almost unanimously, the entire group has said that this is one of the better burgers of the entire day. Um, it had a really, really good uh, spice and a really good kick to it. There was a lot of thought had gone into the type of cheese that they wanted to use. They cooked the bacon properly. They cooked the bun both sides, inside and outside. Overall, this is a really well thought out burger, and I actually think that it's not one of my favorites yet, but I think it's definitely in the top five that we've had so far. Um, overall, that's a bloody good burger, and ironically, the only reason we came in here was because we were walking to find another burger and just happened in here. So, overall, that was a wonderful experience. Okay, so we're at Dragonfly, and this place, this is called the Bangkok Burger, and it's got crispy Thai green curry free-range chicken, coconut lime relish, spiced eggplant, pickled green pepper, green papaya, shallots, coriander, clevel bakery pad and bun with shoestring fries and some gym salt. So this is the first chicken burger that we're doing and everyone's kind of like, it's getting a bit late in the night and everyone's had a bit much so we're just going to try a little bit but we're doing our best. Um, I gotta say it wasn't for me at all. Um, the chicken patty was nice, the chicken was well cooked, but those flavours just aren't a mix of something that I'm into. But uh, Dave, what did you think? I like the beer. <laughs> so we are at the Hippopotamus restaurant in, what's the name of this hotel? QT Hotel. In the QT Hotel, um, and we are doing something very different today. Uh, we are actually having a burger high tea, which I'm not 100% sure exactly what that means from what I've gathered it's a bunch of sliders and it's just a bit fancy pants which is why I've worn a shirt today um, but um, I will show you as much as I can okay so the hippopotamus high tea we're actually doing it in reverse there's three sweet burgers and four savory burgers it's, it's as you'll see it's lots of little things and the idea is to share it and they've matched it with a tea and things like that so it's a bit of an experience as opposed to just a standalone burger but we're going to get stuck in and we'll tell you what we think it was an experience but i think we should recap our experience outside you know, experience is one word for it anyway um, my initial reaction to that was I was expecting something really, really, really high end and I felt like it under delivered greatly. Now Alex had some really good insight on this, so what was your opinion? Yeah, no, I, I, I kind of agree with that. I, my expectation was for the Hippopotamus Hotel was like right up there. Uh, presentation was great, service was great, but really uh, the burgers themselves, like the bread was dry, the, the Wagyu burger was, the meat was dry, um, you know, everything was just very bland and, you know, I was really disappointed. And it was ironic because my theory was that they should have done proper like White Castle sized sliders and delivered that because you could have done a lot more in terms of a creative burger with that, but it almost seemed like they were more creative with the sweet stuff and the burgers they just had a five year old throw together. No, they were. It was really creative and it looked amazing. I think just unfortunately uh, it didn't quite deliver what they were expecting. It wasn't really that good. In fact, I'd probably relate, rate it as um, well. So far, I think they're down, down the bottom on my list. So far, totally agree.